Hi everybody, Jay Graydon here, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Exotic SP Compressor, which is my favorite compressor. And here it is, and let me explain a little bit about it. First of all, you have three compression modes, low, medium, and high. Of course, there's an on and off switch, and volume control. But the key to this unit is the blend control. When it's totally to the left, it's dry, no compression. As you move it up, you add in the compression. And if you go all the way up, it's full compression and no dry. So now I'm going to show you some examples of that. And uh, let me change guitars, and we'll do that. I'll be right back. This is without the compressor. I'm going to play a chord. <laughs> This Music Man Game Changer guitar has good sustain, but it's dying off, as it normally would. Now let's kick in the compressor at low compression, so we won't hear a bunch of spike at the attack. I'll get into that in a minute. And um, you're not going to hear hardly any spike, like I say. I've got the compression at about 2 o'clock, and this is low compression. Here we go, and let's check out the sustain. <laughs> You can hear it sustains longer. And also, you don't hear that real hard attacky sound that you would get on most compressors. There's a little bit of attack sound. Let me take it out. But it's not much on the low setting. We want more compression. I'm now going to turn the wet dry all the way to wet so it's full compression and it's still on low. Let me turn it off. You can hear the E string die, I mean the E note dying away pretty quickly. Put it back in. A lot longer sustain. Now let's say we want more attack now for like lines and lead and stuff like that. I'm going to medium com compression. The blend's on about 1.30, 2 o'clock. Now, on the initial attack, you're going to hear a spike. But if I keep reattacking the note because the compressor has a slow release intentionally, you won't hear that spike each time, so it's smooth. and a real long, sweet sustain. Now let's do this on high compression. First, no compression. Now, high compression. I'm still set on the blend control to about 1.32 o'clock. Now you can really hear the spike at attack. But just like before, when you re-attack notes, because the release is slow on purpose. You're going to hear that the notes don't give you that hard attack every time. So first note attack with a big spike, second, third, fourth, no spike. And very long sustain. Okay. Let's go to a distortion sound now. Now, first, um, no compression. Okay, I've got distortion, so there's going to be some sustain, and it's not an overly distorted sound. Now let's add the compression in. Medium compression, same settings. Uh, volume's basically 12 o'clock, and the blend's like about 1.30, 2 o'clock. A lot more sustain. So if you want to use for tapping, compression's also really important. 
And here you go. You get the drift. So anyway, um, I really like this compressor, I gotta tell you. And it speaks for itself. So go to a guitar store and check it out and I th I'm sure you're gonna love it. By the way, there are some internal switches that are very helpful if you use a single coil or humbucking or you want a pad, or you want a high cut, I think there's a low cut too, so you can set to taste. I thank you for listening, and happy playing.